Hello everyone. I am Professor Anish Vora and I welcome you all in this uh, new video. Currently we are running a course on design of uh, three phase induction motor and we have now doing designing on square phase rotor. In today's video lecture we will do how to select or how to determine number of rotor slots. Number of rotor slots are very important. The selection of number of rotor slots in square phase induction motor is very important because with certain combination of stator and rotor slots, the machine sometime may refuse to start or may crawl at some subsynchronous speed. Both the effect we know as the cogging as well as crawling. In some cases, shivier vibrations may be set up, generating excessive noise. The harmonic field superimposed upon the fundamental sine wave field and induced EMF in the rotor winding. And this, because of this harmonic EMF, circulate harmonic currents. This harmonic current interact with the harmonic field to produce harmonic torques. Therefore, the net motor torque is equal to the sum of the torque due to, due to fundamental and the torque produced by the harmonic fields. So we have different uh, types of uh, harmonic torques. It is called as a harmonic induction torque which is uh, responsible for a crawling effect. Then we have harmonic synchronous torque. Then we can have a cogging effect. We have vibration torque that generate uh, vibrations and uh, then we have a noise. To avoid this type of uh, different harmonic torques, the selection of number of rotor slots are very important. We have certain uh, set of rules to select rotor slots. Let us see one by one. The very first rule that is number of rotor slots should not be equal to the number of stator slot. So rotor slot and stator slot should not be prime to each other. To avoid the magnetic locking that is uh, normally we know as a cogging effect. So rotor slot and stator slot should not be exactly equal. Second rule, number of rotor slots should be 15 to 30 percent uh, smaller or larger than number of stator slots. For satisfactory uh, effect, the rotor slot should be either 15 to 30 percent uh, smaller or larger than stator slot. The difference of stator slot and rotor slot should not be equal to plus minus p, p is number of pole plus minus p, plus minus 2 times p, plus minus 5 times p to avoid synchronous cusp. The difference of stator and rotor slot should not be equal to plus or minus 3 times p for 3 phase machine to avoid magnetic locking. The difference of stator and rotor slot should not be equal to plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus p, e, plus minus 1 or plus minus p, plus minus 2 to avoid noise and vibrations. To summarize all the rules, we can say that the difference of stator and rotor slot should not be equal to 0 plus minus p plus minus 2p plus minus 3p plus minus 5p plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus p plus minus 1 plus minus p plus minus 2. So while selecting number of rotor slots. If we take uh, certain care 
and we avoid certain combination then we can avoid different harmonic uh, torques and we have a better uh, operation in case of a uh, refish induction motor let us take one example that how to determine the rotor slots the stator of three phase 30 kilowatt 400 volt 50 hertz six pole square cage induction motor has been designed for 54 slots so number of stator slots are uh, finalized at uh, 54 slots the rotor of this motor is designed for the following number of rotor slots 36 42 46 47 48 52 53 and 45 now the task is uh, assigned to select the best possible combination of stator and rotor slots we are not changing the stator slots so stator slots will remain 54 that is final we have to select the rotor slots accordingly so now certain combinations are given and we have been assigned the task to select the best possible combination so let us uh, test uh, all the cases one by one so for example case number one stator slots 54 and rotor slots are 36 so difference of stator and rotor slot that is 54 minus 36 that is 18 in our case number of poles are given that is 6 so the difference 18 that is equal to 3 times our number of poles with this stator and rotor slot combination crawling and cogging phenomena will be observed this is conclusion so this combination is rejected case 2 stator slots 54 now we have taken the rotor slot 42 so difference of stator and rotor slot that is 54 minus 36 that is equal to 12 and 12 we know that it is two times our number of poles with this stator and rotor slot combination likely to develop hooks and cusp in speed torque characteristic and hence this combination is also rejected suppose we take uh, case number 3 again stator slots are 54 rotor slots now we have considered 46 so difference of stator and rotor slots it is 54 minus 46 it is equal to 8 now 8 is a uh, P plus 2, P is our number of pole and P we know that it is 6, so 6 plus 2 that is 8. So P plus 2, with this stator and uh, rotor slot combination, it is likely to develop more noise. So this combination should also be avoided. Now let us take case number 4, stator slot that is 54, rotor slot now consider 47 so difference of stator and rotor slot that is 54 minus 47 that is equal to 7 and 7 we know that it is p plus 1 p is our number of pole that is 6 so 6 plus 1 that is 7 so with p plus 1 combination it is likely to develop again more noise so this combination should also be avoided case number 5 stator slots considered as a 54 rotor slots 48 difference of stator and rotor slot that is 54 minus 48 and that is 6 and 6 is exactly equal to the number of poles with this stator and rotor slot combination it is likely to develop hooks and cusp in speed torque characteristic and hence this combination is also avoided 
let us take case number 6 in case number 6 stator slots is usual 54 rotor slots 52 difference of stator and rotor slots that is 54 minus 52 and that is 2 so we know that uh, plus minus 2 that is also not allowed with this stator and rotor slot combination noisy operation might be possible and hence this combination is also rejected then case number 7 stator slots 54 rotor slots 53 difference of stator and rotor slot that is 54 minus 53 that is equal to 1 and that is plus minus 1 so plus minus 1 combination is also not uh, possible with this stator and rotor slot combination again noisy operation will be uh, possible and hence this combination is also rejected now let us take case number 8 stator slot as usual 54 and rotor slot that is 45 difference of stator and rotor slot that is 54 minus 45 that is equal to 9 now 9 there is no combination of uh, uh, between a set of rules so to avoid cogging crawling hooks and cusp inspector characteristic as well as vibrations and noise this may be the best possible combination so out of this uh, eight different combination this combination can be considered while selecting rotor slots so that is how we can uh, select our uh, number of rotor slots we discussed uh, some severe effect uh, while when we have calculated uh, selected wrong number of slots so it is very important thank you uh, very much for uh, watching my video keep watching my video in next lectures we will do more designing work on square teach rotor Thank you very much. Thanks a lot.